Welcome back. Another video. I recently just finished this mini coin purse. I'm not sure how many colors in it, but I got it done. Butterfly design. I want the Montana blue and sky blue. AB. Nylon zipper. This one's small. doesn't have the metal zipper, but it has the matching inside. This is a suede buckskin kind of thing. It's nice. It's pretty. Size 13 Charlotte cut beads. Uh, this is actually a, what is that color called? Shine pink beads, Montana blue. Is some pretty nice colors in it. So I'll show you a little closer how it looks. This is the bottom part of it. Splash of green in it. And the back. It opened up. And the zipper. I changed the zipper here for this uh, bigger ring just because it's a little easier on it so going for a little tab here and using it like that so it's a little more easier to use and with that i did this too as well my first time making a bracelet fully beaded purely stitched all around inside and out it was well um, size 13s and 15s as well i mean obviously you can see the cuts in them Transition. This is my first time trying it. Um, there is a piece of, there's a blank in there, like a brass blank bracelet, and it's wrapped with buckskin, which is done like this. This one here I flattened out because it was a uh, pre uh, bent, but here's the the brass blank. That's how it looks when it's flat, and then I wrapped with uh, buckskin, like so. I just glued it because there's really no need to stitch it. I just measured it with and added about, I think an eighth of an inch to a sixteenth of an inch wider than what it actually is because it's a half inch blank and it's about five eighths wide. No inch and an eighth wide because they double it. And then glue the bottom of it and push it both together and glue the top. And just kind of push the seam close until it matched. I just cut the ends off because I don't need it a certain way because they're gonna be covered up. So I cut them straight next to the, the end of it here. So just like that. So that's how it is. It's on PRD stitch. You can probably do regular brick, brick stitch around it, like one up, one down. But this is a PRD stitch, so this is how you get this effect with it. I do plan to make another one. That's why I did this one. And another one. But that'll be later on. But what do you guys think for my first try? I'm not a POD stitch. I just didn't know how to finish the ends. I'm just, I just guessed at it. The best of my ability. I think it came out pretty good. It's not super wide, it's not super long, but it works. <laughs> but so that's that for that one and that's that for that one. So that's kind of what I did in the past week. Week, two weeks, roughly. Uh, that guy do that, I can make a, uh, Another bracelet. I gotta do another two pendants. Hopefully I can get them done this week. We'll see during my next update if I do get them done and get them out. But this is the video before I send them out to your owners and see if they... Yeah. This has been sent to their owners. For once I didn't raffle these off. I was going to, but I did not. But it's okay. There's always time for that. Maybe I'll make a couple of these and a bigger coin purse because people have been asking for a hummingbird version and maybe i'll do that but we'll see anyways thank you for thank you guys for watching and um i'll definitely do a tutorial on these the bracelet blanks too once i get um more more i guess when i get better at it <laughs> once i figure out the ends that's the, the main thing the pd stitching part is easy i'll do like two versions of them but you guys, thank you for watching and see you guys next time.